Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel. If you're visiting me for the first time, welcome to my channel and I hope you like it enough to subscribe at the end of this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back and thanks for your nice comments. They are always welcome and they are always appreciated. For today's video, I'm making Puerto Rican Pionono. This is my second recipe of this kind, Puerto Rican Pionono. The first one, I did it my way, which is the easier and the nicest way of doing a Pionono, in my opinion. But people said that it's not the traditional way of doing a Pionono. Today, I'm showing you the way I learned to do a pionono when I was 11 years old. So please join me in my kitchen to make this wonderful Puerto Rican traditional dish, the Puerto Rican pionono. I'm going to be preparing four plantains. Each plantain will give me three or four piononos. After peeling them, I'm going to slice them. The slices cannot be too thick because otherwise it will be hard to fold or roll when I'm making the piononos. They are about one eighth of an inch. I'm frying the slices in about one cup of vegetable oil and frying them enough to cook inside but they cannot be crispy otherwise they will break when we try to roll them place them in a paper napkin to absorb the excess oil the plantains should be room temperature by the time we are ready to roll the piononos i also going to be making a sofrito for the meat so I diced one large onion and diced two medium potatoes in small tiny pieces. Cured salted ham, mini sweet peppers, garlic cloves, fresh oregano, culantro, half of a red bell pepper, and I'm using skewers instead of toothpicks for safety reasons especially if we serve in the pionono's to children. With the exception of the onions and the potatoes, I'm blending all the spices together with about one tablespoon of olive oil. In my big frying pan, I'm going to fry the cured ham in about one tablespoon of olive oil. Once they're nice and crispy, then I add the onion and let it saute until it becomes translucent. Then I add the blended ingredients. Stir and cook for about one minute. Then we can add the two potatoes and about six ounces of tomato paste. Blend everything together. We don't need to wait right now for the potatoes to cook. Remove from the pan and put it to the side so we can use the pan to brown the meat. I'm using two kinds of meat. I'm using pork and beef together. Once the ground meat is fully cooked, then I add back the sofrito ingredients. I'm going to mix well and then I'm going to cover and let it simmer until the potatoes are fully tender. In the meantime, I'm going to be mixing three eggs with a little salt and pepper. Also to the eggs, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch. It can be cornstarch, potato starch, or even flour. This is just for consistency. Now we have all of the ingredients ready to roll the piononos. I roll each plantain slice into a ring and insert two skewers. You can also use toothpicks, but I do recommend you use the skewers. It's a little safer 
and you will have no accident leaving a toothpick inserted into the pionono. Everything should be at room temperature to include the meat. Now with a tablespoon, I'm going to fill each row of the plantains, making sure they're filled up to the top. Place the pianono upside down in the palm of your hand so you can fill up the bottom and brush the egg mixture and immediately put in the frying pan. Brush the egg mixture on top. Place it in the pan and then brush the other side with the egg mixture. Once the egg is fried in both sides, remove immediately. Clean them up by removing the skewers and the excess egg and then place them in a nice serving dish. And that's it for today's video. Please subscribe if you have not done so. I hope to see you next time. Buen provecho. Bye bye.